I think we should probably start today. Welcome back to the Duck Call Room. Welcome. By wishing somebody a happy birthday. Yeah, it's your birthday, Philip. Hey, hey all right. And we're the fifth. Well, yeah. Well, it's actually the sixth, but it was right at the end of the fifth, and so I kind of celebrate both days. And How does that work? That makes me 106 years old. How? Can you explain how that operates? I, I think maybe part of me came out right before midnight, and then they got the rest of me out on the 6th, and so the 6th is really when I celebrate. But What does your birth certificate say? <sighs> Philip McMillan, genius. <laughs> no, like, it, it has a t- doesn't it have a time on it? <laughs> yeah, it's February 6th. What like, time were you like, born at? He was like, like airborne. 1. Oh, really? Yeah. He was like an airborne ranger. He'd come out feet first. Well, no, I, I, I came I, out slow. It took me a minute to get well, out. But there ain't I, no way that head started it off because the rest <laughs> of you would have just followed. I can only you say can that. You can say that because <laughs> you're, the, you, you're the only one in here that has a bigger head. Well, me, you, and Johnny D can well, yeah. all arguably wear each other's hats. We tried on, we were comparing our head sizes to see who was the smartest. Yeah. <laughs> Size, I've got heard the of the three studios, but the three heads, just a new one. Yeah. Hey, I'm <laughs> telling you right now. We're all Big seven head. and three quarters. And up. Yeah. Difference is me and Philip ain't got no hair to cushion our size. Yours is, <laughs> they, you got a lot of hair right They got more here. combined hair on their head than we do. Yeah. I so will. so remember I was telling y'all the story about the group that I took out to size that the... The people followed you? Yeah, but it was the lieutenant governor that wanted his granddaughter. But you had to lose the other crew? Yeah, yeah. and I did the and little... The other crew, they don't, we have no idea who it was. We never saw him again. That's right. So... If so, you were with the other crew, please email me. <laughs> I'm sorry that I gave the slip. It was oh. unintentional. <laughs> but, I mean, it was intentional, but I didn't. I hated to have to do it. Well, lucky for you, you're in a town where a white camouflage truck, you're not the only one. <laughs> like, right. so, well you known. Know, That's true. It could be anybody. So, so I called down, and I said, hey, is there any way y'all can get us any crawfish? Because you cannot get crawfish in Louisiana right now. You just now. called the oh, lieutenant about governor what? for food? I, well, hey, he said, if it's you are big time. It's his birthday. If you ever need anything, let me know. I, I like, need some crawfish. I need some I'm crawfish. hungry. Yeah, they're, 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 what, 13 dollars a pound? They're expensive. Like Crazy. So, so my son Blake went down and picked up crawfish yesterday morning at 4 a.m., down in Lafayette. Fresh yep. fresh crawfish. Fresh crawfish. Yeah. Brought them back. We cooked them yesterday. Was well, it good? Awesome. Yeah. Wait, so this worked? It was delicious. Yeah, they were like, oh, yeah, we'll help you out. What you need? Bingo was his name Oh, there's, there's restaurants <laughs> literally having to, like, shut yeah. down right now because they can't get any crawfish. Yeah. Well, Philip's like, I know a guy. I know a guy. <laughs> I know a guy. Hey, I got a question for you. When you took them to Sai's house, did any of them hit their head on that stupid wooden shotgun he's got hanging across the front door? No, because I smoked mine the other I day. Go I go underneath it. Did you hit your head? Oh, I, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I'm Leah's safe. my house. You know, my maid. Yeah. She hung that thing out there. And, hey, I went somewhere. I think it was up here for the podcast. Come home. Don't walk. Don't come in the house on the right side of the steps. Amen, buddy. Come in the left, because Martin, I heard, heard, he wrote a bowing, and I can't help laughing, because he come in rubbing his head, and he said, yeah, that gun's for real. I said, hey, that's a, that's that thing made out of metal. That knot on he my said, head. I just knocked a knot on my head. I said, hey, don't feel like the Lone Ranger. I said, the first day I hung it, I just, boom. <laughs> Why it's, are we hanging? I actually, huh? It's, I, a, it's a decoration. It's a decoration because if you read it, it says, I don't dial 911. Yeah. Oh, it's a warning And then there's a gun hanging up. Hey, yeah. Let me tell you, it may be a... It may be a decoration, but that stock's made of real wood, buddy. Oh, oh no, At no. eye level. Oh, no. Well, it's it's one of those optical illusions, so you think it's over the step that you're on, but it's yeah. really, like, up on his porch. Yeah. and then so you See, I thought I was under it. Like, yeah. I'm like, I'm good, so I'm just going full yeah. bore towards the door. Wrong that answer. crossed my oh, no. eyes oh, no. the other I day when stars. I stopped there. I mean, it was, it was wham, and I... I was looking at something, what in the world happened? Oh, yeah, I had to take a step back. I kind of stumbled <laughs> backwards, and Christine met me at the door. She she had enough time to get up and get to the door before I could even go knock on it because they heard the calamity that oh, yeah. was outside. Yeah. Like, that ain't yeah, even a joke. He, That's probably that. on a video. <laughs> he come here rubbing his head. Of course, it's the one day I don't wear a hat. hat. I ain't got nothing on my bald head. <laughs> and it bop. And I said, Lord have mercy. Uh, so when I left, I left out the barrel in. I got, yeah, <laughs> the barrel's I got, a lot higher than the barrel. I got, I got to get her to re- redo that. It's got to be a little higher. Yeah. Raise well, it up. 
<laughs> when you were out there, did you notice how close Cy parks right up to the to the door? I mean, he parks as close as you can on that concrete. Well, you cannot get in without squeezing by his truck. Well, oh yeah, I folded his mirror in when I went by. <laughs> no, no, my wife responded to that because hey, you know, I kept driving up. Okay, in my truck. Well, it's rained a lot, and look, I I had about a knee deep mud hole right there from the door. And she said, hey, I've called the concrete people. And they're fixing to put in some concrete. And I said, wait a minute, hold it. Concrete's expensive. She said, hey, I done told you for two months, quit driving up to the steps. And I said, look, I, I, no. Nah. I said, for order the concrete. Yeah. yeah. My favorite part is, <laughs> I love Cy. Wow, what happened? Him and Christine park on opposite sides of the house. <laughs> Like he parks on this side, she parks on the other side. Y'all got your own doors? Yeah, they got their own doors. <laughs> it's fantastic. Well, I love well, it. Well, that, that's my, you know, Christine, uh, Liz drives Christine everywhere she goes. Yeah. Okay. Well, look, I come in the front door. They come in the, they come in the back door. It's yeah. fantastic, yeah. man. <laughs> I got so tickled. I mean, there's oh. just a lot of things. I laughed and I laughed. It's like I've got my TV in the living room. She's got the, her TV in her room. Yeah, okay. it's good. <laughs> but that's a, that's a family thing because I remember what her uncle, or yeah, her uncle's wife. They the same way. He lived in the basement. She lived upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Well, not everybody can watch as much grit as you, so I would have my own TV too. Well, I, hey, look. Oh, it was blaring when I got there the other day what too, buddy. <laughs> oh, black and white. <laughs> Did you did you like oh, no, how you put the cardboard up to keep the sun keep out the so sun he can see the TV? <laughs> wait, wait, well, no, what? No, hey, you'd be sitting in your recliner and just go blind. The sound, the sun's coming out. <laughs> well, they, right they, in. they rearranged their living room since the last time I was there. The TV used to be on this wall, and the sun would hit you from the side. Well, side of moved everything, and now he's looking straight at the setting sun. Hey, like, no, I, I didn't work. move everything. Oh, well, so, and. and yeah, you know, my that wife is a, moved everything. That is a female attribute. Why? Do, Brittany does that all the time too. Just constantly rearrange a house. Allison, to, Allison will go. What if we put the TV over there? And I'm like, whoa, <laughs> TV's where it's at. Yeah, I finally fixed that. I just hung it from the wall. I said, you're going to make this work. <laughs> yeah. well, at my least TV's on the wall. She still considers like, what if we make the couch look that way? And I'm like, what? That we would be backwards. Yeah, yeah. I walk in, something's missing. I'm like, where? So what's, what was here in this oh, coffee table? Gone. Yeah. No, no. We're going to have to have that a... Phil's house. He, he's got his recliner in a corner. Hold on. Nothing has left Phil's house in the last oh, 20 years. Nothing, oh, no, no, nothing no. gets rearranged down there. Oh, no. It just gets added. added. Not, not alive anyway. Yeah, look. I've, <laughs> there are deer trails bigger in the woods than you got to walk from Phil's kitchen to his living room. Oh, no. Right now. Hey, you got so much got, junk in there. Let him in As skinny as I am, I got I got to turn sideways and slide through some places. Yep. I'm serious. <laughs> yeah, I had to get I had to go down to Phil's before I went to size. So I went down to Phil's first to get him signed some stuff, and I had to sit there for five minutes cleaning off a spot on the table for him to sign Remember, some stuff. Oh, that's good yeah. stuff. Well, no, no, because my wife's always telling me, "Hey," I said, "I'll sit down and I'll say, hey, babe, where's my uh, you know, whatever." And she said, I hadn't touched it. So oh. I have trained her, hey, don't mess with my area. I have okay? trained Because I don't want to be having to look for nothing. Yeah, you ain't got toddlers in your house. No, because that's like right now. I used to have an area in my house. Hey, Liz washed his clothes. I've lost two shirts, and I ain't found them yet. Thank lost God. his shirt, yeah. boys. <laughs> and one of them belongs to Stone. Oh. Because we, went, it, we I, went duck hunting. It was real, real cold, and I was cold, so he gave me his jacket. So the main thing that I've noticed that Cy lost is a big picture that I took of him in the monster truck jumping over those cars. Yeah. That doesn't center. belong in the living room, though. Yes, it well, does, well, you I'm always have telling the story. But she hid it. I'm talking about you couldn't find it. And so I said, Cy, where is it? He was like, Philip, go looking for it. Nope. Hey, I, I told her, it. I said, hey, look, fans come to the house, and I said, and, and I always have to tell them, hey, you know, driving a monster truck. It's a good and story. And every time I say, hey, where's my picture at, babe? But she <laughs> put it somewhere. She and she it. it. I love the fact that Cy just randomly has fans at his house. I mean, oh, that's, no. No, no, that's, that's why. I mean, that's, that's, why. Why. that's awesome. No, no, that's why when we, when like, we come by one day, and there was like 20 cars <laughs> in my yard, and he said, hey, 
get you a fence built. <laughs> oh, said, I, I think we it. know this one. Yeah, no, no, he said, I'll pay for it. Martin, how many Realtree products have we been associated with in the last 15 years? All of them. Every <laughs> one. All of them. Uh, look, I love the guys over at Realtree, especially Bill. I call him Dollar Bill for obvious reasons. Dollar y'all. Dollar um, Bill! <laughs> <laughs> but he is. He's a great guy who, who was a man with a pen and a pad and a dream. And I can appreciate that, much like Phil Robertson, Bill Jordan, same way. They're the same age. They've, they've done things the same exact way. Started with a dream and said whatever it takes to build it. And, you know, we teamed up with Realtree probably 20 years ago now. And Martin's the kind of man with a Realtree truck, a Realtree hat, and now he carries around Realtree drink. (laughs) I guarantee you, buddy. Hoist done made a Realtree bottle, Martin. Look, it is fun. Well, actually, what's the most fun about this is Tyler Jordan from Realtree, the son of Bill Jordan, is one actually called me the first time about Hoist. Said, hey, we got these buddies. They're coming out with a new drink. Can I send you some to try? And I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> send it. So we got it. And of course, you know, I gave it to all y'all. Yeah. Delicious. Too, and it's fantastic. But now we do have the new Realtree APX edition hoist in the blaze orange flavor. So it's an even hotter orange. Now I like have. this. This is my first time to try this, Martin. Me too. This I, is going to be it. my first taste. You see it in here this first. This is great. Boom. That's definitely orange. Battlefield tested, warfighter approved, tested, now in real tree camo. And I, it, I love the real tree camo. That looks like me and Martin's trucks. I guarantee you. It <laughs> is fun, though, when like all your partners can get together and everybody's doing the same thing. So, you know, we've been with real tree for years. They recently launched this new camo, APX, at Shot Show. And now, once they did, Hoist and Real Tree have the real tree APX on the Blaze Orange flavor. And it's the perfect source of hydration for the avid outdoors enthusiast and anyone that appreciates quality hydration. It's IV level hydration that rapidly absorbs into your bloodstream. With seven delicious flavors to choose from, there's something for everyone. Horse proudly supports our U.S. military and is approved by the Department of Defense. If it's good enough for them, it should be good enough for you. It's definitely good enough for us. And Blaze Orange may be my new favorite flavor. I may I may I have to it. trade in the watermelon for this guy. Yeah, well, I will give this. That's the brightest Blaze Orange I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, on Phillip's head? <laughs> on that hat. <laughs> Philip got that hoist hey, orange hat on. I told you all I like it. Hey, this is great. Look, also, drinking, it, drinking is one thing, but wearing the hat's another. I'll That's wear how the you hat know too. it's real. I got, my, I got my parents drinking this now. Uh, they're on hoist, and it's helping them a lot. They That's love awesome. it. They're a little bit older, and they're using this to get hydrated with. They like to keep it in the refrigerator. And they, they drink it and stay hydrated. But it's if you delicious. don't like water, yeah. this is the taste. it's way better. If you want to try the all-new Blaze Orange, get the all-new Blaze Orange bottle by visiting drinkhoist.com today. Enter code DUCK to receive 20% off your order. That's drinkhoist.com and enter code DUCK at checkout for 20% off That's your right. order. That's right, 20% safe. My wife is a collector. She had a lot of stuff that... You know, from her childhood. Like Vietnamese dog buried in your... Oh, you know, all this junk, you know, uh, real nice stuff that some ladies had made, you know, and she had it up. Uh-oh, oh, there, oh, there he is. But anyway... On. That's not the picture I tried to... White, show. white, okay, she had a bunch of nice stuff on top of the shelf. Well, hey, he's three-quarters monkey. Okay, next thing here is crashed. There it all went. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's and, your youngest grandson? Yeah. And I told him, he come in there one day and he started up and I said, no. <laughs> no. I can't get past them glasses, man, when Look you said that to me. Though. Hey, it looks like he wants to sell me something. These are the people who <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> si Stallone? Struck those. <laughs> Look at this. I was flipping through Facebook and what, it was like Duck Dynasty fan club. Hey, that was and one they, of the, you know, I, I was a good looking hey, What is Christine thinking right now? No, Si, it was tacos. <laughs> you can tell he said something that made her mad. He's trying not to laugh, and Si's just smiling. No, he ain't said nothing. They just saw Si's reflection. Si smiling. They like just a- saw that sweater, big dog. Got si- <laughs> Anyways, I found a picture on the internet of Si, I'm going to say 1998. That's a wild guess. But- that would probably be pretty close. And he's wearing a argyle sweater with a collared shirt underneath it. He's got hair on top. Double Look at him. Hair. He's a ladies' man. Just a little white patch in the beard. 
And his beard's all one side. And look at that smile, will you? Look at that. Oh, million dollar smile. Look Whoa. at him. Look at all those teeth. Look at them glasses. That's when I had teeth before everything started falling out. <laughs> <laughs> for only nineteen ninety five a month, you can smile like What's this. That? My favorite part is back out though. Look, Christine says I'm from the nineties, and you ought to know it, big and, dog. And I ain't changing. <laughs> like, wow, she wow. Never did, she never did take a good photo. Huh? Oh, I wasn't even talking about that. But hey, go I, ahead. No, I said she won't smile. We gonna have to get another song made. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? We're going to have to holler back at Song Finch after that little comment. Christine wants to talk to you, son. Who that? Your wife. She said she needs another blank check. He says she ain't ever took a good photo. She (laughs) won't smile. I'm glad she don't listen to this. Well, she don't like, she don't, I'm serious, she don't like to take pictures. Oh. That was, we're not topping that. No. That's why, you know, most, most people in the military, if you go to their house, you know, they got pictures in uniforms and all this stuff hanging everywhere. I call it, you know, oh, they call it, you know, my love myself room. Well, hey, I don't take photos. <laughs> Martin. That's why. I, when, when, oh, <laughs> Duck Dynasty. Martin. Hello. I love myself. Hello, Duck I want Dynasty. I to love me. They told me, said, hey, we need some old photos, you, you know, photographs of you in the military stuff. Didn't have any. Yeah, there's just a couple, and we got them up in the tour. Not a lot oh, of I'm cameras serious. in Nam. Yeah. Nah. Well, back in, not everything you had took a picture. Well, I, I would just think say I sent. I think I sent my mother one, one picture, one picture when I was in Vietnam. Just to let her know you're all right. Yeah, just to say, hey, yeah, here I am. Okay. Did you I have that up. goofy smile on your? Look, no, no, I had no. I had my I shirt off. Smile. Okay. Well, I've seen that picture. Remember, yeah. I had my shirt off. Yeah, because it looks like your chest is sucked in. Well, hey, well, hey, so oh, skinny, yeah. like. <laughs> no, anyway, hey, I was like uh, about the color of that picture frame back there. Yeah, you dark, too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And she, oh, plus, dark. she was looking at me. She said, Are, ain't they feeding you? Because <laughs> I'm skinny. You I said, skinny. Mama, I've always been skinny. I said, yes, they're feeding me. So I had a kind of guy, though, that he may still have that sweater. Do you have that? No, <laughs> that, was a, that was a Christmas gift from somebody. I know you don't have that shirt because I ain't seen you with nothing with a collar on in ages. No. But. No. <laughs> yeah, I don't wear collars. <laughs> that's, that's, you know, that's like a tie. But that sweater? That's, that thing tight. That was, a, that was my favorite. Let's get him that was one. warm. It warm, was warm. We put, oh, that on, I know. put that on a T-shirt and sell it. I bet it. <laughs> <laughs> you can make it, some money. It kind of it kind of reminds you of that. What's that, uh, what's that one with the farmers? Got American Far- Goth or something. Farmersonly.com. What's that called? American Gothic. American Gothic. The you know, with the painting? Yeah. I mean, that's that's kind of the vibe Scott I get from, like, from Scott Scott Christine. Look, that look, Scott Scott, he looks like he's been up to no yeah. good. Scott looks like he's up to yeah. no that makes, good. That makes three of y'all. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Scott is the perfect blend of y'all, though, because, I mean, look, Christine, no teeth, Cy, all teeth, and, and Scott got a smirk. Yeah. You know? And Scott, Cy, he's been up to something. Oh, well, ain't no doubt. He, he worked a long time. He worked a long time on that hair, buddy. <laughs> Where was I'm, Teresa? She gone? She missed church that day. I'm jealous. Oh, ain't no telling. That had to be like the church annual. Like. Yeah, no, that's the that's definitely the church oh, yeah. directory. Yeah, yeah. No, I was thinking. Okay, that was when he was at Paint Rock Valley High School. Paint Rock. You went and took high school pictures. In Alabama. Well, no, no. Yeah, in no. Alabama, it's a family event. No, no, because I had I had just retired. And I, I had left Tracer. I, I had left Tracer in Europe to graduate. Because okay. I didn't graduate from my high school. I had to move the last half of the year to South Louisiana. Okay. Which is a bummer. You know. And I've ta- I you know, I just said, Hey, she needs to stay here with all her friends and graduate. Okay. You know, we had a lady that volunteered, okay, she can stay with me, you know. Oh, that's why Scott got to look on his face. So, no, no, that's mm-hmm. why he's been, he's been an yeah. only child for a few months. Yeah. Mm. He's, yeah. That's he a, went from that's having a, a sister look. to being an only well, child. Yeah. Yeah, and that's they why. used to fight like cats and dogs. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Oh, man. Ended up with a real nice fence, though, Scott did. <laughs> man, that sweater is everything. That's it's got so many points and diamond shapes. and <laughs> That's just that's real nice. It's hard if you're listening. It's hard to describe. But yeah, it's it's, it's like it's a, sigh like you've never seen him before. That's right. And think about the most '90s family photo you can think of. Family ties with a with a blue backdrop 
Yeah. And guarantee you somewhere on that picture had the photographer's name in a lower corner, like <laughs> like what was glamour shots, here? Olin Mills. Um what was the dude's name around here? I can't remember now. It started, it was like Merlin or something. It, re- mm. it reminds me of it sounded like a wizard. Shoot. We're, yeah, we're I, moving on up. Uh, yeah, Jefferson. George and Wheezy. But this ain't, the, this ain't the only Different picture. Show. This Different is probably show. one of five pictures that y'all took. You know, I want to see the other ones where you got your hand underneath you. Oh. When they made you do that. Like I said, I didn't take many pictures. Oh, man. Yeah, I love it. That, well, let's... that dude that I'm thinking of, he also had a ponytail. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about in town. Yeah. It took all the pictures. I cannot think of it. Merlin. He has a wizard's name. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm let's try to let's mom. try yeah let's try to find, we'll find it. out in the next on a break minutes. yeah let's take a break we we'll a be back thing, right after Marley. this right now we're gonna I'm talk not. about how much money you can save oh how can we save money Martin by <laughs> taking it to the moon <laughs> you just download rocket money baby yeah if that if you want to save money rocket money is the easiest way to do it because you download it got all your expenditures right there at your fingertips right here. I'm pulling it up it. It's actually pretty good when you think about it because, look, they're kind of checking on you and taking care of business like, hey, you bought this stupid thing that you just wanted for once, <laughs> and then it's several months, it's still going on, and you forgot about it yep. five years it, ago. It's that sporting it's event. $5,000 on it. Well, rocket money checks that <laughs> and then cancels that crap. It's that sporting event that you got to watch, right, yeah. and then you forget about it. Yeah, and you forget about it, and then they still charge you. Yeah, hey, rocket and, money will stop that. And right. one cl- one click, That's one right. click. I did it last Easy. last time we did this when I was about to. They do it time. He's got the app on this little phone of his. It's my little phone. That's right. Mm-hmm. And I little canceled phone. Paramount Plus right there on the app. It was super easy. Well, as much money as you waste, buddy, it's a good thing you got Rocket Money. <laughs> they save you a ton of money. Thanks to Rocket Money, though, I'm down to two subscriptions. And Rocket Money is the personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscription, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills. I can see all my subscriptions in one place, and if we see something I don't want, I cancel it with a tap. Don't have to get on the phone. Don't have to send emails. Don't have to do the customer service thing. You just go, bop. Look, and they'll even try to get you a refund for the last couple of months of wasted money and negotiate to lower your bills for you by up to 20%. All you have to do is take a picture of your bill and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has helped save its member an average of $720 a year with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions so far. So stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash stop. That's rocketmoney.com slash stop. Rocketmoney.com slash Duck and save some money. <laughs> save yourself. Uh-huh. Speaking of crazy children, yeah. Mine didn't get a good fence, but something happened. Uh, which so, one? Which uh, one? The oldest. Oh, Carter. Oh, Carter. Oh, if see. it's a Carter story, it's going to be Carter a good story. story. So, first off, this coming Wednesday in chapel, he's doing the closing prayer at school. That sounds sweet. <laughs> but if you know Carter, you're also a little nervous. Uh-oh. On the same day yeah. we get that. I immediately got nervous when you just said that for you and Allison. Yeah, no. And I did. No telling what he's going to say. No, right? And no telling who he's going to pray for at the end. That's where I'm going. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> so our children's pastor, Pastor Ashley, super cool dude. He can do magic. Everybody loves him. Great guy. He, uh, he sent us, they do a prayer request at church, right? Uh, for all the kids, and they can fill it out. I'm just going to present it to you unedited. Carter Owen, 9 and 11 twelfths. <laughs> I like it. And his prayer request is, Dear Lord, thanks for George W. Bush. Bush. <laughs> Amen. What are we doing? <laughs> How does he know who George W. is at 9 and 11 twelfths? <laughs> Where do you go from here? What are we so he's sitting in church, like, all right, it's prayer request time. Everybody fill it out. Carter writes, his age is 9 and 11 twelfths, and his prayer request is, Dear Lord, thanks for George W. Dub- How am I supposed to raise this? I love it. George, I laugh. Is his birthday in March? Carter's? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, for sure. So he has a better basic understanding of fractions than like 90% of America. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's fantastic. No, he is 9 and 11 twelfths on the nose. <laughs> And he knows it turned February and he said, Oh, I'm nine and eleven twelfths now. Oh, praise God. I love it. But that. he's obsessed with the presidents, all of them. 
He's uh, according to him. There's only been one terrible one. Uh oh. Who? I'm not telling you. Yeah, please. Oh come on. You oh, he's current. Oh. But <laughs> not a fan of that guy. In fact, if he was here, he'd go trash. <laughs> <laughs> That's just his opinion, people. He's apparently up on his basic economics, though. So. Um, oh, wow. Oh, we're not a political podcast. But he loves, like, every president. Like, he's obsessed with it. Like, he can probably name them in order. That's funny. At 9 and 11, 12. But apparently this day, he was just like that. So now, Wednesday, he's going to say a prayer in front of all the elementary kids, and he might end it with something about who, Thomas Jefferson, old TJ. Or w. Abraham Lincoln's his favorite. George W. Bush is new. I don't know where it came from, Martin. Mm. Anyways, that's been my life of today. George W. Bush, he's just like, oh, you know what? He did all right there for a minute. I wonder what he's got against Dad. <laughs> I wonder why he likes W so much. Yeah, I don't know. He picked W. Yeah. It was that pitch in the Yankee Stadium. He was like, that was cool. <laughs> he goes, I don't care what else you did. That was cool. Hey, hey, you ain't going to fool me again. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> fool, fool me once. Shame on you. you fool Hey, yeah, fool yeah. Me. can't fool me. Yeah, ain't, ain't gonna, gonna fool, fool me, me again. again. Oh, so you can man. tell Carter that that George Senior had a procedure, a lung procedure done in Houston, and the doctor was um, showing us a picture of, hey, this is a new procedure we did this on George on George Senior, and then Cy had the procedure done, and so now it's 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 George Bush with the doctor, and then Uncle Cy si, side by side with the doctor. <laughs> Oh no, that's tight. Yeah, that's oh, that's big good. Job. That's like, yeah, you made it. Yeah, that's tight. That whenever, yeah, you get compared to like, hey, not only did George Bush uh, feel safe enough to do this, so did Cy Robertson. Like, I've never had Tommy John surgery, nor have any reason to. But if I did, I'm going to Doctor Andrews just so I can make that wall of fame, kind of maybe. Yeah, you know, I mean, he's fixed everybody else. Why not? Like, he's the only guy you hear about on ESPN. <laughs> Give him a try. I mean, that's cool. Like I sign me up. I'll go to Birmingham. That's cool, man. Anyway, but no, that's call me Birmingham. I'm gonna report. Is somebody recording? We're Carter? gonna get the recording okay. of the prayer. That's all I need. And Carter, you, I mean, it might be very standard rig. There is also a chance, you know. I mean, there's a real chance he could pray for Willie. <laughs> uh, that's a, that's a small chance. It. Uh, a very large chance the people that sank on the Titanic might get prayed for. That's um, that's rhinos. Rhinos are in, obviously. <laughs> that that will happen. But George W., that's out of left field for me. Uh, so. What if he'd have just put, dear Lord, thank you for W. W. <laughs> right, w. Nobody's going to argue that. We'd all instantly knew who he was talking about, which is the best part. <laughs> oh, I would. Well, he's got this book he reads, too, that has every president in it. And it doesn't have the bad parts of the presidents, right? So it, it, he thinks, which is good. Like, I wish I was. Pretty short book, him. Uh, How old is Carter? <laughs> Nine and 11, 12. <laughs> 11, 12. Almost He'll be 10. 10 in March. He'll be 10. In March. Like, see what I said I, about I a basic like basic understanding of fractions? <laughs> you see? I know, because he reminds I, I, me of my grandson, Connor. Uh oh. Is, is that he, good or bad? Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> well, then, yeah, it's that like, makes sense. It's one of, go look, uh, he, he's the same thing. He he's always he's like my my daughter, you know. He's always got his nose reading books. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. And, you know he comes up and asks me and his you know grandmother questions. That, you know we got to whoa we we <laughs> gonna have to do some research. We'll get back to you, dude. Mm-hmm. Oh you know, man, you know because it's because he's he's the same way. Oh yeah. Once they he'll come out and say something and it just blows your mind. You go and how old are you? Yeah. My nieces were like that. I hope, I, I guess my kids will probably have a little bit of that in them. Oh. Carter got one of them memories too. Like the other day he goes, Hey dad, remember your old car? And I was like, do you? And he started talking about it and like the part of the seat that didn't work. And I was like, dude, get, stop it. The black Tahoe? Yeah. <laughs> really? He knows all about it. He's wow. mad at me because I'm trying to sell that truck. I barely remember it. <laughs> Save it for him. Yeah, that's what I think that's what he, he wants. He could probably figure out how long he, you need to save it for. Oh, he, yeah, yeah. Nine, 11, 12. <laughs> yeah. He's six and one twelfth away from driving, Dad. Yeah. You can't get rid of your truck. Yeah, save All that right. thing. I'll be driving Gator Flame to school. <laughs> oh, good. It probably still won't have 100,000 miles on it by then. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> I don't think we want Carter on the roads, though. Not at this age. Oh, hey, yeah. I can tell you, you're never safe. You're never safe on the roads and even off the roads. So, y'all know I just got my truck in. November. Did you wreck it? I sent you a video. 
No. Yeah. You did send me a video. I sent you a video. Nobody has seen this yet. Okay, I need you to zoom in. So there's a truck and trailer coming in onto our campus where I work, okay? Hold on. See that truck to the left? Where's your truck? Right truck, there. My truck's in the middle. John, Dead dude. middle. Is yeah. this your truck right here yes. by the pole? Yes. So Way away from everything. I'm, I'm, I'm in my office working. Uh-oh. Okay, okay, here comes the first lady. She drives by. Oh, there's a truck. Okay, let me give it. Second lady. Oh, you know what? I don't have time to wait. Boom! <laughs> oh, wow. Why would she... And she just kept driving like she didn't do it? She gone. Oh. The cops did get her, bring her back in. And Look then, at that. Yeah, they had to. She moved your whole truck that was in park. Just yeah, it just. It sideways. So it, it, it smashed in the back and twisted everything. And so, boom. Good grief. Was her name Becky? It was Becky. Actually. Does she work at Duck Commander? <laughs> no, ours, ours runs through buildings. No, no I'm just joking. But, uh, yeah, that was oh. weird. I'm sitting in my office. And she floored it to do that. Yeah. Like what? I mean, that's a hit. Wop. She not... went from park to crash. I mean, if I'm yeah. just being honest, that looks like she was pissed off at the way you were parked. Maybe she called in and didn't like what she heard on the phone. I don't know. Wow. Uh, no, no. But She's probably listening to our podcast. Yeah, she's <laughs> like, you know what? That's I that McMillan. I hate that Philip McMillan. Boom. <laughs> Duck Dynasty told me we don't like this guy. Yeah. So a guy, a guy called me and was like, "Hey man, you might want to come down here. Your your truck's been wrecked." I was like, "Yeah, right. I got the keys in my pocket." He was like, "No, it's it's the cops are here." I was like, "Huh? <laughs> Holy cow!" I walk out. I'm like, "You're kidding me." So what did the guy in the truck do? Just oh, he never he never even told anybody. He just driving through campus. Oh, you know, but but this like, whole time I was thinking it was the truck that was going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Because Philip said, you see that truck and trailer coming right there? Yeah. They're they're actually just, you know, like the first car tries to avoid the truck and trailer and eases around it. And, and the well, other the ladies. on the left of the screen is a truck. The yeah. There's trailer. a truck and big trailer behind him. And so they're actually going around that truck and trailer, taking their time, except the second lady there, she was just. Said, like, hey, I mean, I she smashed it. I mean, she I feel like that would jar your team. Smashed it. Like. I called 1 800 my truck? attorney because I had the neck hurt because of it. Oh, Lord. And emotionally damaged. Lord, here come Morse Bart. <laughs> eight, 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 no, eight, eight, no, no, eight, no, 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 no. Get Gordon and get it done. Oh, gosh. <laughs> you know too many of them. Local okay, attorney okay. commercials are fantastic. No, I was just going to tell Local you. Local chiropractor commercials are getting better. With that dude getting obscure 2007 rappers, that's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Oh, we know life. the guy. He got a little flip. Yeah. Who? Lil Flip. Who? You don't know who Lil Flip is? No, but I know Mike Jones. No, Lil Flip. No, no, no. Not anywhere near the size of singer of who, Mike Jones. Who's Lil Flip? He sings This Is The Way We Ball. If Sadie Robertson came in here right now, me and her could sing every word to that song. I'm not proud of that, people. But First of all. But, but we is, could. This Is The Way We Ball. It's That's a good funny. song. Not really. And he's on a chiropractor commercial? So is Lil White. Lil who? Lil White. So Lil Flip and Lil White. Made a chiropractor commercial. And when I tell you these guys have not been big news so is this since what 2006. I'm, is this what I'm going to be doing in 20 years? Doing chiropractor commercials? Yeah. Like, oh, is that, sure. Is that where me and Sire are headed? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like, Sire already stepped out on a leg with a crematorium that I don't know that I'm comfortable with. <laughs> but but local chiropractor commercials, golly. <laughs> boy, what a man will do for a dollar. Oh, he God. said, I've been going to, I was like, this is, is, who is it? It's Lil Flip. Where's he going? I'm now. I'm just interested. Traxler. Oh, okay. If you're in the little flip and you, I mean, decent music. Twenty years ago, I got a chiropractor. You're gonna love. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I'd, I just, I'd really love a poll up right now on this podcast and know how many of our listeners know who Lil Flip is. I'm gonna go I'm with gonna less go than with three percent. Less than three. No total. 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 I'll take the over. I don't know, man. Lil Flip wasn't popular. Did you know who Lil Flip was? No, that's but, what. Yeah. But our listeners are eclectic. No, our listeners are it. you. The only way you know who <laughs> Lil Flip is if you're from the H town. That's the only way. So Rucker, Rucker knows who yeah, Lil Flip Rucker is. Rucker and his hundred percent. Yeah, watch, I'll text him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you text him, and let's take another break. We'll be back right. We now. need a break. We're back, Martin. This has been the strangest episode. No. We covered Lil Flip. Unfortunately, it hasn't. Been. W actually, yeah, this, <laughs> w. Is, this is just us. But Beth sent in a whole bunch of Facebook DMs. Yep. So we're gonna go through some of those. 
Let's do it. Jordan. I'm looking. We what have is, one. What are you doing? Oh, okay. He's looking too. All right, Jordan from Slidell. Because we've been talking a lot of Duck Dynasty lately. Mm-hmm. Rehashing the old times. But Martin needs to explain the Duck Dynasty episode with his 1,000 pair of socks and 1,000 pack of mustard. Yeah, we do get a lot of emails about you and mustard. Well, let me just... All right. Every single young man has mustard. No, I'm just going to break a fourth wall here. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Don't do it, Martin. You, hey, you heard it first right here. Now tell us. I love Sonic corn dogs. <laughs> love them. They're good. And I know that's going to come as a shock. Here come the Alabama fans that listen to us. Oh, LSU corn dog eaters. What? I don't even really know what that means. But, yes, I do like corn dogs, and I like tigers. <laughs> so deal with it. But they always give you like 57 packs of mustard per hot dog. And you just I mean, don't throw them away? I, I, I cannot throw away something that's perfectly good. Philip McMillan. I can't. Now, time out. <laughs> good point. Mine is in a package good full point, of preservatives. I'm not flying back home with a hamburger. I'm not. I don't. In a Ziploc? No. I just, you know they make canned hamburgers? Sorry. Oh, 100% wow. of truth. Hey, thing. canned hamburgers? Mm-hmm. There you but go, Si. Anyway, so that's where the mustard, as far as socks go, I still have a sock problem, and Brittany will confirm that to the end of days. I like socks. And I cannot lie. And I like only doing laundry once a week, but I'll go through multiple pairs of socks a day because my feet sweat. Like, that's, that's the deal. My feet are, they sweat. I mean, that's why I used to get cold during hunting season until I figured out where the thinnest pair of socks you can find like i would always fall for the trap of wear the thick socks yeah. to keep your feet warm well yeah. then my feet would sweat twice as bad and then you get cold yeah exactly yeah. i'd freeze yeah. to death so now i just wear the thinnest socks i have but again those are perfectly good socks and you can't like give socks to somebody that you've worn so i just keep them i don't you know i don't know i, I do have hoarding tendencies i'm not gonna I lie didn't know about that, that. About yeah. you. but not of large goods like like in Phil and Kay's house, like we were talking about the other day. You don't have to turn sideways to get into my house. I, but I do You just have, might have a lot of mustard packets. Yeah, not so much anymore. Marriage changed that. I don't eat near as many Sonic corn dogs. But if they do give them Look to me, I, Well, you don't need to run out of mustard. <laughs> okay. When I'm he, with him he, on that. I got, I got, you know, hey. Hey, and the beauty of mustard is it is a great egg wash if you don't have any eggs and you need to fry something real quick. You can use mustard as an egg wash on frying chicken, that's frying it. fish. Fish. If you fry it, you can use mustard yep. to for yep. your, but that's for your binder, thing. so to speak. Because when me and my roommate in, in college, we lost one of our roommates. He was getting married or whatever. And we were like, we have an extra room. Should we try and see if anybody else would want to live with us? And we we're like, what are some pros? To living with us. And I opened the refrigerator and I was like, well, we could put a Craigslist ad out that says, do you like mustard? Because it's all we have. (laughs) Do you like condiments? Boy, do we have a room for you. But that's, that's. Mine and your refrigerators in college look very different. (laughs) All we had was mustard. Yeah. What did you have? Hey, what's that? You though? Beer. Oh, we, no, we just finished all that. Yeah. Hey, why corn, would you keep corn dogs are good. Amen, bro. Hey, I'm saying I'm not bothered on that. Praise Jesus. I oh, love yeah. corn dogs. Because I've got a big box of them in my freezer. Oh. Okay. Do you microwave them? Yep. Yeah, that sucks. Yep. Well, well hey. I mean, they get you buying a paint, yeah. I'm saying. But, like, uh, that's why Sonic's corn dogs are so good, because they're fried. Like, when you try to do a corn hey, dog at home, like. This isn't going to shock you. I'm not a big corn dog guy. Really? I like a mini corn dog, which is exactly the same. Without the stick. Without the stick, but yeah. So, so you, back, hold on. Back, back in the day when we were, what is it? I, I texted Rucker. I said, "You know, little flip," because I said only somebody from Houston. And uh, Rucker's only response was, "Not personally." <laughs> <laughs> oh, not, not personally, but professionally, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Anyway, I was just gonna say when when we would go to events and Sai would. I mean, at the peak of the show, the biggest, largest events you can think of. And we were going to him and Cy si would, you know, do his thing. And they'd invite him to go to these special places to eat. And I'd be like, yeah, 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 yeah. And he was like, no, nah, let's get on back, Philip, you know. And he would say, stop by Sonic 
And let me get a, either a, a corn dog or a BLT. BLT. Yeah. They yeah. got an excellent BLT. He did, no, he don't want the two hundred dollar steak and meal. He's like, no. Mm-mm, take me to Sonic Boys. Well, hey, most people know what <laughs> good food is. This is not a paid advertisement. <laughs> it's not a paid. <laughs> this advertisement. is just a happy accident. But that's what you wanted. <laughs> but I no, did no, have no, a round forty four coke zero on hey, the way. Corn dog's good, and I like a very good hot dog. Yeah. And you know what I love? What? Tater tots. Oh, yeah. Right. No, no. There's uh, another one. All right. That's, that's another true. One. My grandmother turned 90. Happy birthday, grandmother. No way you're listening to this. My dad made hamburgers and french fries, and tater, the tater tots were gone so fast. I was fighting little kids for them. They were my kids. I was like, mm. And I love the little round hash browns. <laughs> Grand. Like, I love them. Oh. They're the best forms of potatoes you can you get. Tater tots. And tater the, tots rule. Another thing that is really good at Sonic. Uh oh. How did it the fried jalapenos? Oh, cheddar peppers. Yeah. Yeah, they good. are excellent. They're okay. The mozzarella oh, no, sticks be The problem is, though, when I get those, I'm generally like starving because I'm adding on to my order and I can't wait. And I take a bite and I get that molten lava of whatever's inside of it that just burns, gives you second degree burns on your tongue. Like That's when you got to get that chocolate shake. Hey. <laughs> <What's> <laughs> of course. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Are we just going down Sonic's menu because the well, mozzarella sticks hey, are the best thing food. on there? Okay, they just, have good food. Yeah. Don't you know the only place that can rival their mozzarella sticks? The D. You two know Captain. Captain. Oh, Captain. D. I saw him the other night at Captain. I, D. I, we, we know. We got your it. email. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we read it on the last episode. Yeah. The last podcast we got. Philip from Westman. Road. What were you doing awake at that hour? Talking. It was twelve oh eight. There's no telling. <laughs> you were just like you said. Martin loves Captain D's <laughs> sent from Philip McMillan's cell phone. <laughs> oh. That's food rules. God bless America. That must have been date night. Was it a Friday night? Oh, for me or for you? No, for me. No, uh, for me, date oh, night. Oh, I was about to say. Y'all me, went to I was... Captain D's on date night? Oh, yeah. When you've been married 35 years, you're going to find some places to go. It's a great little seafood place, but like Catfish Charlie's or, it's, you know. Oh, that's a good one. I mean, I was just there to pick up Brittany some hush puppies. That's I, all I, I got? I saw. I was like, "What's up, Martin?" And I saw him eating the hush puppy on the way out. Oh, no. I mean, not that I do actually think that their hush puppy is one of the best things they have there. But Brittany has become addicted. It's like you just go. Get I, her I, I asked her low key. I said, "Are you are you, are you pregnant again?" He's like, "This is an obsession. This is weird." <laughs> like time out. Did something hey, like did something fail? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah, because it's a weird like. <laughs> yeah, because they don't come one at a time yeah. in Martin's house. Yeah. It's two oh, at a time. Quit playing. Uh, so hold on. So she'll just be like, hey, sweetheart, on your way home. Yeah, why are you not hush doing puppies? This wasn't even on my way home. This was after I, we put the boys down. She said, I really want some hush puppies. And you went? Absolutely. Better man than Good me. For that you. woman and, takes care of them kids all day at our house. Yeah, if she asked and, me at 7 o'clock, go get her something to eat, I'm going, the answer is yes, dear. And yeah. you went, and, right. but it was just. <laughs> You're smart to be so young. Just hush puppies. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. A, How many a, of them? A platter. How many will fit in that thing? I said, oh, yeah. I want a large thing of hush puppies. It's like six bucks. Hey, good, good horse puppies are hard to find. And she loves them. No, no, yeah. So there you go. And she had Scott's? The more you know. Scott's own good cooks excellent hush puppies. Yeah. So does the warehouse. Huh. Oh, warehouses are fire. Yeah. Warehouse got real good. good. That's well, the only I, thing I like. Another one's got good food. Yeah. But their filet mignon is. Ooh, medium plus. Baby. Medium plus. Oh, oh, hey, medium mushroom plus. Mushroom well, juice look, on we it. Said, I told you, hey. we was worried we going to go too fast. We that boy, two. hey, and that boy knows, no. the chef there knows what oh. medium plus means. What, we yeah. just asked, uh, Martin, do you like mustard? And we <laughs> got a full expose on Sonic, That's America's right. hey. favorite drive-in, and Hush Puppies. And You're hey. welcome, America. <laughs> Tune in to the number two leisure podcast in the world. We'll be back after this. Hey, 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 hurry up car- and get this done because I'm hungry now. Tell Carter to pray for us. Oh, yeah. I'm hungry. Speaking of that, though, would you want to be president? Huh? I'm serious. Would you want to be president? Absolutely. All right. A young man named Cy si just emailed in. What? Do you? Where are we going there? Uh, Why? Well, hey. I'd love to be president. George would W. You? got you would love to be the president of these United States. Of I would America? want to work for the president. Who wouldn't want in the cabinet? I mean, low key. Who wouldn't want to be arguably the most powerful person in the world? I wouldn't want. It. I wouldn't want to be. I wouldn't want it, but I could work. Well, good for, for you. y'all because I would love to be. I would work for you. I don't. I'm I, a good I mean, second hand. You know man, why you know I love. I mean? You know why I'd love to do it because that's a platform you can actually provide change from. 
And so that the, part of it. The, the oh, we're hey. about to get political no, in the here. Pressure. No, 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 the no, 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 no. If I'm find out, I'm a Tea Party man. No, uh-huh. Moral, not political change. Moral change. You can at least try. You can try. That's what I'm saying. Like you, you at least have a microphone at all times. Like you have an open floor to have uncomfortable conversations with people. That's what I would enjoy about it. You know what I like doing? Nobody knows. Let me guess. Selling, selling, worms. selling worms. <laughs> selling worms. It's selling just, it, I, I belong there. <laughs> I decided the other day. I'd love to have a guy beside me with an earpiece, too. That would be fun. Because you know what? I'd be like, mozzarella sticks. The Secret Service <laughs> and here they getting me ice cream would be cool. There you go. I would end up Taft. Like, there's, yeah. The world's biggest president. Because yeah. I'd just be like, hey, we're about to exploit it. Y'all I'm really exploit are on the president bag, if you remember Mr. Taft. Son, I know the president, yeah. but, but not near <laughs> as well as my son. But that runs in their family. Yeah. No, it's Carter. Carter's. Hey, he could quote you from first all the way through. Plus, it'd be cool to like really see like some of the stuff that can really happen. That'd be cool. Like, no, you know, yeah. I think you'd, I think if you knew what the president knew, you'd walk out like, oh no, this is sad. Yeah. Unless you got to find out about aliens. I was thinking, I can, I don't think I could handle it. I'll, like he's talking about. Oh, I could. Area 51, I'd be like, tell me what that is. All right, I quit. Yeah, I got lots of questions. Yeah. I just don't want to answer for that one day. Like on Judgment Day, when God's like, what did you do for a living? I'm happy that I get to say, worm sales. I could go figure out if we actually landed on the moon. I'd never tell you the truth. That's because I know the truth. (laughs) That's the part that's scary, like you just said. You know? What are all the secrets? No, yeah. Where are, those, all, hey, where are all the skeletons? I'd be there? making that yeah. stuff and, and leaking yeah. it to y'all. Yeah. Area 51? Yeah. 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 That'd be tight. No. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I got another text from Rucker stuff, about jumping somebody that was stuff friends that with Will Flip. It goes gonna... on <laughs> that the American people would be shocked if yeah. they knew. The American people would be shocked if we knew, like, what you and your boys actually went through in Vietnam and what Stone and those guys went through in Afghanistan. We're blessed yeah. to have not had to experience oh, no. that. And if we saw what it was like to go to war firsthand, we'd all be pooping our pants. Exactly. Yeah. So well, I'm just going to sell one. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, I'm going to keep shooting up. Hey, matter of fact, hey. But it would I, be cool. What, the third? What? Yeah. Me and Stone yeah. and a eight other veterans. Yeah, how'd that go? Did y'all yeah. kill any no, uh, Well, we... We had a very enjoyable time Uh-oh. because it was veterans together, but we did, the duck hunting was bad. Well, I sat we there. Killed, we killed a total of 10. Yeah, I sat there with my kids looking out the window at it pouring down rain saying, boy, I'm glad I ain't there. Yeah, yeah, that, that's, that was part of it, okay? Yeah. It's just, you know, it rained all day, but we had a good time, and we killed 10 ducks, which I've got eight of them, okay, <laughs> get, get him. in get my him. freezer. Get him on. Okay, or no, I got six in my fridge. And I'm going to get to eat some of that dressing tomorrow. Yes, you right? are, because I'm going yeah. to make up a big batch of Sorry, duck and dressing. Girl. Wait, 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 where are we meeting tomorrow? No, we're not. It's going to be delivered here. Oh. That's right. I'm going to deliver it tomorrow. 12 o'clock. Mm-hmm. Go without it. What's going on tomorrow? Nothing. Just a, Something. Just hey, a you ever, yeah, Tuesday. you never worked here. It's like half work, most play, and food. And tomorrow they get duck and dressing. And people try to leave here all the time. It's wild, man. Yeah. You left here. Yeah. And I, I, I didn't look, even look, eat lunch. The other day, the podcast was an example of it. Jersey Joe brought in meatballs. I did see oh, that. I did. And they I was know. excellent. Mm-hmm. Do you know Jersey Jersey Joe? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I met him through Phil, yeah. you know, bodyguard and stuff. You should have a meatball sometime with Jersey Joe. Yeah, hey. that's worth your, that's worth you inviting look, him and to I, your Look, house it was cook. duck meatballs. Doesn't sound it, no. Wood, but wood duck meatball. I'm, I'm, and it was excellent, sir. Your face is correct. I'm, but it is. Ooh. Oh, it was primo. Yeah, yeah, it was very good. Your mind's telling you no, but your tongue. <laughs> yeah, but your yes. tongue says, "Oh yeah." <laughs> Unbelievable the stuff that happens but, here. So I'm, I'm missing one that was specifically for Philip and his gout. What? People are really concerned with you. People love you. Oh, I'm yeah, good. I'm doing really yeah, good. Yeah. I'm, I'm healthy. I just actually, I just had my yearly visit to my doctor he said and i quote you are as healthy as a horse everything's great and i'm i'm getting off the gout medicine because i'm walking and exercising and drinking lots of water that's good so look at me now and everybody in that fourth chair How you like me now I goblin done lost 100 man. pounds i lost three so far so far that's good i lost five but then the weekend happened 
What happened on the weekend? What did you eat? Spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> oh, wow. What a duck. pioneer woman. No, no, no. no. What a duck. We don't go exotic at my house. We're very standard pork, chicken, cow type people. And you wait in line until everything's ready. That's a suck coat. No, I help cook it so I can eat oh, it while oh, we're going. Oh, that's your in-laws yeah. house. I'm a great, no, it's my house. Oh, I got you. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, in-laws dinner ain't served till after a brief intermission. It, it needs to be oh. nice and cool yeah. before they want to eat it. Some would call it tepid. <laughs> <laughs> That's just part of the family side. If you want to, you got to get in where you fit in. Uh, I don't care. Yeah. Si going to be eating that dressing tomorrow as, si fast. Will, as soon as it comes out that oven. I think he's going to wait. I'll, oh, no, I'll have me a big bowl of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got one or are we done? I got a either. kind of an interesting one that I don't know that we should read on air. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> but, like, yeah, you're going to get hit. He came in, he was in. He'll put Valdez a hit on you. is involved. He needs a favor, and he has $200 for you, Martin. This old boy that's done drove over here, emailed his resume, dropped off his seven kids, and trying to figure out how to move here? Yep. Valdez is that coming. Valdez? He's coming, Si. Valdez is coming, boys. Yeah. <laughs> you know... So I don't need to read the email. I should probably. Yeah, I don't know. Give him an interview. Bring him in. John Gimber to him. used to work here. Johnny. He's Willie's cousin. And Gimber had a pretty good line about some things. Oh, boy. Uh-oh, I want to hear it. I know it. I know it. I know it. 100%. He knows the line. I can't wait to hear it. Sometimes no response is a response. Yeah. Might not be the one Just you one want. of the options of responses. I'm not Amber also had the, everybody thinks they have a million dollar idea. Some of them are $20 ideas. Some of them are $100 ideas. Every once in a while, you find a million dollar idea. But, <laughs> you know, now I, I just, I, I mean, I thought that he would have figured it out. Because well, <laughs> I, well, I don't want to be rude. But you do have it in you. What, being rude? <laughs> yeah. I, if you force me to be, I try my hardest well, not to be. No, I'm thinking about it like this, because you, you're a manager over a, a, a really, a, I mean, duck commander, and yeah. so the general manager, you got to make some hard decisions that people would not want to make. Yeah. I mean, I don't envy you for that. Yeah, I don't. Well, like hey, it. but here's the thing. There's a lot of uh, multiple options of answers to questions. Yeah. No happens to be one. Yeah, we're just in and the you weird... you don't want to hear it. Well, and we're in the weird spot where if we tell somebody no, because I have before, right? I've had to say no a lot. Yeah. And then we get hit with, the, well, that's not very Christian. That's not very this. It's not very that. And I'm like, well, no, so, that's so, not so, true. Just, just no is no. Yeah. Like, it's just, it, it, it's, no. it's just no. And it may not be no. It may be not right now. I've kept your resume. I've got it yeah. in my There's no in malice my file, there. In my I've got his resume drawer. now. I'm currently so, reading it. Yeah. Smart guy. He he seems to be very smart. I just have lots of questions. But you know, it worked for Jersey Joe, so I mean I guess, you know, if you, if you feel well, if you feel led, pack up and move down here. One of your kids may marry a Stone's kid, you know. I don't know. He got two more coming. <laughs> I don't even so, answer my phone till the seventh ring. I mean, I, I'm just I need some devotion. Like <laughs> before seventh we wrap ring. up though, I want to give a shout out real quick. A guy named J B from Indiana. I had a great conversation with him. Uh, next to the spinner baits the other day, he he he's an amazing guy, amazing story. Wh what? It's an old time winder. No, it wasn't about, about it wasn't about no. fishing. <laughs> he's been through some stuff, and he said, "You know what? I don't want to you know lay down in this sad state I'm in. I'm just gonna start driving." Hey, and really cool guy. Thanks for listening, JB, and we're praying for you. I'm gonna wrap it up with Psalms 25, 4 and 5. Show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. Hey, there baby. You go. The Amen. best part about you is you knew where your hope was. You just know that it kind of sucks right now here on this earth. But our hope's in the Lord all day long, and one day we'll all be together in heaven. So we'll see y'all next time, right here in the duck car. Wherever thing. See you, fellas. Good.